One, two, three, we ready? We ready? We ready? Yes, let's do this, let's do this. Transmission is about to proceed. All right, guys, my name is Koharalan, and I am going to teach you today my top three ways for managing frustration when it comes to facing obstacles and challenges in your life. So as a creative type, as an artist, right, as any kind of entrepreneur, whatever it is that you want to do in your life, if you want to create something new, you're going to come up against challenges. And also, if you want to grow, you're just going to come up against challenges because that's what happens in life. As we start to grow, we bump up against our comfort zones, and that creates all sorts of resistance and trouble for us and challenges. Right. But the thing is, how do we face those challenges? How do we you know, manage our emotions when we come up against that intense feeling of frustration that can just make us stop dead in our tracks, that can drive us in another direction, make us quit our goals, make us, you know, blame other things or make excuses for the reasons why we're not doing what we want to do and just give up and, you know, all kinds of negativity, right? We don't want that. We want to be able to face our challenges and rise up in the face of those challenges. So these are the top three ways that I've come up with to manage my own frustration when I, you know, feel that intense emotion come up and it starts to stop me dead in my tracks. So the first thing is to let go of expectations. You see, we all have goals in mind, but when we start to look at the expectations that we have and what we want to get from the goals, we're in this outcome-based focused mentality. And anytime we're focused on the outcome, we're not going to be in the present moment. And we're also going to be constantly feeling like we're cut off. Like we need to control the situation. Like we need this person to behave this way. We need this to happen like this. And if it doesn't, we're going to be very upset. Or, you know, it, the main thing is we come at it from a sense of neediness or lack or wanting to control. And that just weakens us. It doesn't give us the power that we feel that it needs. We think that we can rely on it, right, by trying to control and manipulate the situation. But what we find out is it leaves us feeling drained, stressed out, and we create enemies in people that we would like to engender as friends. So that's number one. Let go of your expectations as best you can. Stay with the goal, but allow yourself to be flexible. So when the frustration comes up, you say, oh, you know what? That's okay. That didn't go out. The, that didn't go down exactly the way I wanted it to go. But nonetheless, here we are. We're going to move forward. All right, because I don't need it to be a certain way. I don't need any particular thing or moment or whatever to be a certain way in order for me to be okay because I can let go of that expectation and know that we can move forward. The end result will be our outcome, our goal when, once it's completed, right? But we don't know the pathway that it's going to take in order for us to get there. So we can't be stymied and blocked by any little change of direction that comes up. You know, we can face a challenge and it forces us to tack, change directions, right? But we got to be flexible. We got to be able to move with the flow of life instead of trying to bump up against it always and control things. All right, so the uh, second one is allow yourself to feel the frustration when it comes up. This is something that's very, uh, you know, people are, aren't going to be so comfortable with, right? Because what we tend to do is when the feeling of frustration comes up, we tend to like, Oh, I don't like that. So we want to move in another direction, right? Oh, that frustration. Damn it. Oh, I'm just going to put it down for a while. Or, you know, maybe, uh, you know, it starts a negative pattern of thinking in my mind, you know, like, oh, I don't know if I'm good enough to even do this damn thing. Why did I, why did I sign up for this? Why did I agree to even, uh, I, pr I promised myself I would do this, but maybe I was just, you know, maybe I was just wishful thinking. Am I really good enough? Can I do this? You know, will, is this even a possibility? Am I, you know, am I being deluded? Am I deluding myself? You know, we can't let these negative thoughts take over because they'll instill so much doubt in us that we can't take any action at all. Then we just, you know, completely stagnate and we won't move forward in any way. So you got to let that go. You got to be able to be willing to feel the frustration when it comes up. It's going to come up. It's going to come up for sure, guys. You're going to feel frustration because you're going to come up with against challenges. And if you're okay with the challenges that you're that you're greeting now in life, I can promise you that's great. That's awesome. But I can promise you that life is going to continue to challenge us. It's going to continue to make us grow, and the way to do that is by challenges. And once we've leveled up to a certain ability of handling challenges, well, life has to certainly level up to rise to meet our newfound capacity. So that's number two. Be willing to encounter, embrace, and allow those feelings of frustration to come up. And the third one, and this is my favorite one, this is the most important one of all, I feel like, is just really letting go of resistance. When the frustration comes up, if you think about it, that's really what it, what's, what's at its core. What's at that core of that resistance? Uh, excuse me. What's at the core of that frustration is resistance, right? It's resistance to the way that things are. We want them to be this way and they're not that way yet. 
so that frustrates us or this came up we didn't expect this challenge or we didn't expect people to behave this way and that pissed us off or it got us down or feeling bummed and that sapped our strength you know but here's the thing we can't control what happens in the outside world we can't control what other people do but we can absolutely control how we respond to it and whenever we respond to a challenge with resistance it weakens us it saps our strength but when we can let go of that resistance we naturally increase our capacity right away and we're much more capable of rising to meet the challenge we're also not going to be lost in some story about how things were or the way we wish things could be or what a loser i am why can't i just make things work or oh, i'll never be good enough or am i really you know <laughs> we can just cut through all the bullshit and drop all that stuff and we just go to the visceral feeling of resistance oh damn it and we let it go now that can be challenging sometimes but with practice you'll get really good at this and i promise you it's going to be a skill that you are going to rely upon more and more in the coming months and years as you grow your skill set and you grow towards your goals because here's the thing like i was alluding to before whenever you start to increase your capacity right naturally the resistance that you encounter now will be of a much greater amount so you're going to come up against frustration you're going to come up against obstacles but if you can let go of your resistance to that oh let me tell you you're going to be so much more empowered to actually deal with the situation that you're going to be supported by life you're not going to be cutting off your own power you're not going to be dividing your own power by creating enemies where there aren't by projecting all of these things that are not helpful and you're going to be gathering up the full capacity that you have at your disposal to use for whatever goal it is that you're working towards so here's the one more last tip is as you increase your capacity to feel frustration to face these challenges right be careful and be mindful because the feelings are going to intensify so a lot of times we think that once we practice and practice and practice these things that we won't we'll just start to have not have these negative feelings anymore right they just won't come up well that is true in one sense they don't come up about by the same triggers they are not forced up by the same things we grow a lot they don't come up very often right anymore but when they do come up whoo let me tell you sometimes it can be really really intense guys so again let that be more encouragement to practice with this work with this practice letting go because it's a skill that you're absolutely going to need if you really want to rise to the highest heights okay and take your business or take your life or take your skills to unimaginable heights and really just give to the world your truest and greatest gifts so if that's something you're interested in doing remember that whenever you encounter frustration learn to let go number one right let go of your expectations let go of your need to control everything number two let go of your unwillingness to feel those feelings right just allow yourself to feel the frustration it's okay it's part of life and also third let go of that resistance because that's what's really driving it that's what's really giving it something to push back against when you let go of your resistance all of a sudden life starts to support you in new ways and you will become empowered in new ways that you could only imagine before all right so that's my tips for today i hope that was helpful remember to smash that subscribe button if you like this video and if you like more content like this coming and give me a like there all right and i will see you soon on another one peace